Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. It is Tuesday? Yeah, Tuesday. December 26th, the day after Christmas. I'm all whacked out, man. I don't know what the hell's going on. It's 426. It is, uh, let's see, cloudy, 55 degrees. Right now, I am filming on my new Osmo Action 4. So I got that for Christmas, but I also have this DJI Mic 2 or whatever, and it works with my Pocket 3, but now with a firmware update, it also works with this Action 4. <clears throat> so I can switch back and forth as I need to. I thought that it would be fun to just use this today. I mean, I already have all the mountings for it everywhere. What I did was I took the Action 3, pulled it out of this small rig cage, and then just put it on the mount that I have as my second angle in the studio, just for fun. I mean, you know, I used to shoot with multi angles all the time and then I got lazy and I stopped. So now that I have the gear tree up there and I have all that shit worked out, I thought, eh, you know what? I got, an, I got a little camera, I, let me put it up there. Today, kind of a lazy day. We didn't really sleep in. The cat was yowly as fuck today. And, and it's probably my fault because I keep forgetting to shut my alarms off. I just don't even think about it. So they've been going off at 6.05 and then again at 7.25. And when that 6.05 went off, he just did not shut the fuck up all morning. Just yowling and yowling and yowling. And the place is just not soundproofed at all. So it, it, it's like a bullhorn when he does that. It's incredibly aggravating. And um, that's, what, that's what we woke up to this morning. And I had a headache all night as I was sleeping in my dreams when I'd wake up in, in the middle of the night and then when I got up this morning, I had a headache. So I just took ibuprofen and we made breakfast. And then after breakfast, after dicking around on the internet for a little bit, I went upstairs and was dicking around on the internet more and realized I gotta do something worthwhile. So I, my wife got me a hat, another hat, because we bought these hats from this place and it turns out that they're like a knockoff factory and it took m months for us to get these hats. The one that she wanted, they didn't send. They sent something completely different. And the one they sent me, it was such a Mickey Mouse piece of shit. It didn't look anything like the hat that, that I had ordered. Long story short, she immediately started searching for another hat for me that, that I could you know make my own like I do. And it, a different shape than the one that I made my Stetson one, which I still love, don't get me wrong, and I love this one now. And also, as an aside, I have had this on the stretcher for the entire like past month because I've been wearing my Santa hat, and it's actually stretched out a little bit too much. So hat stretchers work if you're patient. Anywho, so she searched all over the internets to try to find me the perfect hat and, and pieces to start personalizing and everything. And she actually found the site that actually made the hat that I liked. Ugly Outlaw, the Ugly Outlaw uh, hats, he has these hats, they're expensive though. And she was like, you know, love you, but, but $650 for a hat. <laughs> she goes, I thought that that was just like too excessive. And I was like, it is too excessive. So um, she found a hat that was, I don't, I don't remember where she got it from, but it is a really nice hat. And then she got me like a, a leather band that, that, that I can tie around it. And then she got me like a spike, a turquoise pin. And then I'm gonna start putting my own shit together. And, and I've already, that's what I was doing earlier today. That's part of what I was doing. I started, uh, I, I had bought, uh, I, I wanna say plastic playing cards. And of course they're black because man in black. And I have one on my Stetson hat. And then I'm gonna probably take one of those that I already bent up. Uh, and stick that in there. I was going through all my boxes of old jewelry and all that kind of stuff, and I found a couple of little things that I can get in there. Now, that being said, I don't just, like, I don't want to just stick the pin down there. That pin needs to be sewn into the hat, if not the hat, into the band, because I don't want that shit falling out. Now, the problem is, is that the band that she got me is leather. It's not fabric like I would have had on any other thing, so it I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that by myself without getting different tools because I just have shitty little sewing needles and some thread. I don't actually have stuff that's made to go through leather. I might be uh, overthinking it and it probably won't be very difficult, but we'll see. 
Uh, all right, I know one thing I've got to change in this action for is my screen shut off. So I got to turn off the screen timeout while I'm recording because that's annoying. So anyway, so I worked on the hat. I got that as far as I can go for the time being without sewing and doing all that shit. And I had already moved on to something else. I redid the remaining magical drawers. So now there are six actual drawers that are pushed into that cubby. I cleaned everything out. I threw away shit that was in there. I had two, two of them that were filled with target bags. And I'm like, what the fuck do I need all these target bags for? I mean, I was using them as a garbage can, you know, liner, but I don't need that many. So I threw those away. I had like old cages from cameras that I haven't had for probably five years, you know, things like that. So those are all now downstairs in the magical drawers down there. And then the stuff that's left upstairs is for now, it'll do. I have found a like a long, I guess you want to call it a black extension cord, like a heavy duty one. And I was using one of my like outdoor extension cords to plug in the, uh, the table that's now down in the garage that's above the magical drawers because I didn't have anything else. And I was like, well, that's a waste of, of an extension cord. And I've needed it so many times. And I was like, son of a bitch. So I was going to go buy another extension cord, you know, like an outdoor heavy duty one. And damn things are expensive. Plus I don't need 50 or 2000 feet of it. I like the small one that I had. So finding that black cord that I had gotten to use for uh, photo lights and shit like that was in one of those magical drawers. And I was like, oh shit, I can totally use this. So I ended up getting it out and plugging that in downstairs and I got my outdoor extension cord back. So that goes back into circulation now. So you see, this is what happens when you have too much shit is that you don't know where to put it. So you just start shoving it wherever it will go, you know, and creating this clutter. And then when you have to actually find something that you want to use, you have to go through all the crap that you don't need anymore, but for some reason you won't throw away. So the box of shit that I need to take to Goodwill is just getting bigger and bigger and it's just sitting down there in a garage. So I need to do that this week as well. All right, so the magical drawers are done. My hat started working on it. Um, I'm, I'm getting all my electronics set up. The studio is, is like pretty much done. I have all the lighting and everything moved where I want it to be and you know, cables run. I had to order more cables. There was no getting around it. I had my uh, MacBook Pro downstairs yesterday. It was almost dead. I was like, oh, I'll just plug it in. Well, I don't have a USB-C cable down there anymore because I had to take that so I could put it upstairs on the gear tree to power one of the lights. I'm like, son of a bitch. I, I, th I thought I had all these cables and yet I don't. So I don't know. It, it could be in here. There. Uh, I don't see it anywhere, but I thought I had two red ones. I only found one and on and on and on. So I was like, fuck it. So I just ordered more USB-C cables. I thought stuff was coming today, but nothing's coming today. It's all coming on Thursday. Today and probably tomorrow, maybe not today, because I'm already feeling like fuck that. But, but over the next couple of days, I have to do day job stuff. And, and what I have to do is I have to finish my year. So I have to do all my Salesforce updates for, for like three weeks worth of meetings because I didn't do them because I was just doing 993 shit. But it needs to be caught up now because as of the first, I'm gonna lose a lot of those stores and I don't wanna hand them off overdue. So all that's gotta be done. Let's just go get some bean. Hey, here's shit in your eye. Okay, as always, I have completely forgotten to film. I even carried the damn camera in my pocket while I was walking around Home Depot and I forgot to film. So, sorry. All right, kids, so busy day. Um, earlier today, I also worked on the hat. This is my new hat that my queen got me. And I wanted one that was like sort of rounded and high and with no divot in the middle because one of the things about this Stetson that I've got is that, you know, it has this stuff in here and it's only so high. So if I try to pull it down really far, like if it's windy, uh, I can only get it down so far. So this is a non-windy hat kind of a day, non-windy kind of a day hat. And this one is for more any circumstances because I can have this down way in the back, way in the front, it goes right up to my ears and it stays on. Now it's gonna be a while of me wearing this and sweating in it and all that shit to get it to conform to my melon, but otherwise, uh, yeah, it's good to go. So I put this band of leather on it and tied it up in the back there. And then I have this stuff here on the side 
that she got me, which is the pin with the turquoise piece on it. Also the, like the railroad type spike thing. And then I put this uh, plastic playing card in that I had already bent up thinking I was gonna put it in that one and ended up not doing it. Now this stuff is not adhered. It's simply pinned through or shoved down in or shoved behind. And I am not comfortable with that. So I'm going to be sewing everything down into the, and probably into the leather band. But then I was worried about, you know, do I have a needle that's strong enough to go through leather and all that stuff? And my queen came up with the perfect solution. She said, you could always like punch a hole in it. And then I thought, holy shit, I have a leather hole puncher and I can get them really small. Like there's really small holes. So that way I'm not popping a big, you know, like paper punch hole into it and trying to sew through that. I'm going to have a little hole, which will basically amount to bigger than a needle hole, but not huge so that I can run some thread through there and make sure that I don't lose the spike, the pin, hopefully, or, or anything else for that matter. And that should be good to go. And then I've got other like pieces of jewelry. She's made me stuff in the past that, that I can start sticking on it in and around and all that kind of crap. I can do whatever I want. I also ordered a, like a 39 feather kit. You never know what you're going to get. It's just an assortment. So I'll look through all those and see if I can't find an actual decent feather to put in here or however many I want. I can do whatever I want. It's my hat. But uh, this will be one of my signature hats that I wear all the time. All that being said, yes, I've been busy. I, uh, I'll show you the drawers here in a second. I refixed this with the curtain rods and all that stuff and had to pull everything out of the wall and redo the drywall holes and drill new holes because the holes in the thing were different from the ones in the other thing. So now I'm going to show you the magical drawers, the, the new old magical drawers. So here they are. Now I built this thing for the cat and you're thinking, why would the cat need magical drawers? Well, the cat doesn't actually need the drawers. I built this and I put this, uh, little, what do you call it on here? Um, bath mat, basically. It's just a big bath mat. So it was nice and cushy so that he could climb up here and look out the window or sit in the sun and look out the window and just nap and all that kind of stuff. Unfortunately, he doesn't go up there very often, but he has before and that's why I got it so that he could come up and hang out with me when I'm in the office. Or if he just wants to go look out the window, he can look out the window. And then I had only three of the drawers in there that I had filled with crap. And like I said, I opened up two of them and they were filled with freaking Target bags. So now this one just has um, some cleaning supplies like Swiffers and garbage bags and the, and the wipes. This one now will have the paper for the work printer. This one just has a couple of assorted random books and my high school senior year yearbook. This one has some photo accessories. This one has my little mini keyboard huh, that I don't know how to use and I wish I did, and a Blu-ray DVD player for the Mac. And this one has like my Su-ray lenses and some binoculars, shit like that. So that's it. That was the other project was to get this up there. <sighs> okay, so that really is that. That's all I've got in me for today. It's 7.37. I'm gonna cut this video together and share it with you all. And then tomorrow we got a, a number of things to do that we're gonna do together. So we'll take you on that adventure when the time comes. So that's all you get for today. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.